Here at home, a vigil for the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings is now underway. It's being held at ASU, co-hosted by the Council of American Islamic Relations and Muslim Leaders of America. CBS 5's Rebecca Thomas joining us live from Old Main, where many, Rebecca, have gathered there tonight. Yes, more than 100 people are expected to attend tonight's vigil. It's just getting started, so more and more people will continue to arrive. And they're from all walks of life, both Muslims and non-Muslims. Definitely an interfaith gathering of people, a lot of students who feel deep sorrow for the terror that paralyzed Boston for nearly a week. I'm told priority number one is to pray for those hurt and killed in the attack. Islamic leaders here are condemning the bombings at the Boston Marathon, but they're also quite concerned there will be a backlash against the Islamic community because the two suspects were Muslim. Now, they want to reinforce the fact being Muslim does not mean you support terrorism. In fact, quite the opposite. The fact is, it doesn't really matter what the background of is a person, if they're Muslim, if they're non-Muslim, I would be here condemning this act, whether it was a Christian, a Jewish person, a Buddhist, uh, someone who is atheist. Muslims as a people condemn terrorism. Our books condemn terrorism. Uh, one quote we kept mentioning over and over again when we were publicizing this event was straight out of the Quran, um, is to kill one man is to kill all of mankind. Once again, this vigil for the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings is just getting underway at ASU's Old Main. And uh, once it's dark, they're going to begin lighting candles for the victims. Everyone, I mean, everyone is invited to attend. The event uh, ends at 7.30 tonight. Reporting live in Tempe, Rebecca Thomas, CBS 5 News. Rebecca.